<laughs> Chris Morrissey, yes. welcome to Hello. Speed Geek. Hi. Uh, tell us, uh, what was your first main influence as a musician? Well, my dad was a music director at a dinner theater, and both my parents were musicians. My mom is a flute teacher and a classical flautist. So there was just always music around my house. So it was just kind of like all around and they love jazz and so they're always playing jazz records and stuff. Great. So I just had I just had it around all the time. Why bass? Well I originally was a trumpet player and it just kinda when I got into junior high school, just like every other kid I wanted to play rock and roll. And I started to play uh, in different school bands and wanted to play guitar but ended up you know, being the guy that got stuck with the bass. And then my mom actually always told me that even before I played bass that she, she had a hunch about me being a bass player. Yeah. So maybe it was supposed to happen. Do you like a specific kind of band? Uh, but as in, is there, a, is there a sort of music that I like or is there a specific group? If you're a fan of a group? I mean, so many. Hard, so hard, many. To, hard to define. I mean, currently, I like... Uh, I've been listening to a lot of this band, Little Dragon, who is from, I think they're Swedish. Uh, and I listen to, I listen to a lot of jazz still, mm -hmm. still love. What is your favorite record? My favorite record? Oh man, this is going to be, I, the first record that popped into to my mind was D'Angelo Voodoo. Okay. Which I mean, yeah, I've always seen like, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, which kind of ideas do you have for young bass players? Hmm. Do you want to go to, into the business? Um, I would say work really hard. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any suggestions for young people? Uh, they all work with iPhone. Do you have some ideas about apps that they can Ooh. use creatively? Wow. You know, I, I'm kind of, I, I got my first iPhone about a month ago. Okay. So I'm probably the last person to ask. But, uh, you know, I use, I use a metronome app <laughs> in a practice. Okay. I do. That's, yeah. I, I lost my real metronome, so I downloaded a metronome app and I use that when I oh, play. Cool. But yeah, as far, I don't really know any of the like, I know there's some people that really employ like the more advanced versions of the apps and I'm, I'm not aware of any of those. Okay. I'm new to the whole iPhone game. Okay. Is there a kind of style of music you don't like at all? Hmm. No, because I, I, I like, I can appreciate any of it when it's done well. I mean, I, I love classical music and I love country music and there's certainly examples in every genre that that I dislike, you know, very actively. But I I I try not to spend too much time thinking about the stuff that I don't like. I try to focus on the things that I yeah. do like. Cool. You're on tour now. What is really important for you if you're on the road? Uh, yoga, yoga is really important to me when I'm on the road. Uh, and I I think that physical activity of of any sort is what I mean. It doesn't necessarily have to be yoga for. Yeah for any touring musician, but for me to be able to to have a routine that quiets my mind and aligns my body is something that as touring life has lost some of its mystique, that is what's kept me mm -hmm. going. Because early on when you're young, you're just so enamored with the whole yeah. world, and I still am, like traveling is still something I love to do. Yeah. But uh, when, some of the, when some of the travel mystique wears off, you need to find something to just keep your keep your mind focused, and that's mm -hmm. what it, that's what does it for me. Okay. So the last question: uh, What is your future goal? I I would like for my life to stay a lot like it is now, but just more and more uh, more and more of the bands, such as beat music, which I'm here playing with now. And, and my own bands, which I played a lot with back home, I would like for, for more of my musical life to be centered around the bands that I 
am in rather than things that I'm just sort of randomly a part of and therefore not as invested in. I would like, I like just as much music but just more focused on the things that are musically kind of in my heart. All the best, Chris. Thanks for yeah, the interview. Yeah, thank you. Very Happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, cheers.